Hello students, in the last classes we discussed about voltage source inverters. In voltage source inverter, input voltage is maintained as constant. Today we will discuss current source inverter. In current source inverter, the input current is maintained as constant. A current source inverter converts input DC current into an AC current at its output terminals. The output frequency of AC current depends upon the rate of triggering of SCRs. And also the amplitude of AC current can be adjusted by controlling the magnitude of DC input current. Figure shows the circuit diagram of current source inverter. Current source consists of a voltage source E and a large inductance L in series with it. The function of high impedance reactor in series with the voltage source is to maintain a constant current at the input terminals of current source inverter. The positive directions of load voltage and load current are indicated in the circuit. Next is the waveforms of current source inverter. We already discussed that in current source inverter the input current is constant. So this one is the current input to the current source inverter. The magnitude of input current is I. IG1, IG2 are the firing pulses to thyristor T1 and T2. IG3, IG4 are the firing pulses to thyristors T3 and T4 during the first half cycle. That is from 0 to T by 2. Firing pulses are given to thyristors T1 and T2. So, the current flows through the path T1 load T2 back to source. So, the direction of current is positive and equal to I. So, from 0 to T by 2, the output current I0 is plus I. So, magnitude is I. Consider the time period T by 2 to T. During this interval, firing pulses are given to T3 and T4 and current flows through the path T3 load T4 back to the source. So, the current direction is negative. Therefore, the output current is negative and equal to minus I. The amplitude is minus I. So, here T1, T2 conducts. Here T3, T4 conducts. Again, from T2, 3T by 2, T1, T2 are on and the output current I0 is plus I. After that, T3, T4, the output voltage is minus I and so on. Here, the output frequency of I0 can be varied by controlling the frequency of triggering of thyristor pairs T1, T2 and T3, T4. From the output current waveform, it is clear that the output current I0 is a square wave of amplitude equal to the DC input current I. Next is output voltage waveform V0. Here assume that the load consists of a capacitor C. In case of a capacitor, the output current is equal to C into dV0 by dt. As I0 is constant, the slope dV0 by dt must be constant over every half cycle. 
also this slope is positive from 0 to t by 2 and negative from t by 2 to t. On this basis, the waveform of load voltage V0 is drawn as during the positive half cycle, positive slope. During the negative half cycle, negative slope and so on. So this one is the output voltage waveform if the load is capacitive in nature. Next we will see the comparison between voltage source inverter and current source inverter. Voltage source inverter is fed from a DC voltage source having small or negligible impedance. In case of current source inverter, it is fed from a DC voltage source of high impedance. Second one, the input voltage is maintained constant in voltage source inverter. But in case of current source inverter, input current is constant. In voltage source inverter, the output voltage does not depend on the load. In current source inverter, the output current does not depend on the load. In, next is, in voltage source inverter, the waveform of the load current as well as the magnitude depends upon the nature of load impedance. But in case of current source inverter, the waveform of the output voltage and its magnitude depends upon the nature of load impedance. Next, voltage source inverter requires feedback diodes, but in case of current source inverter, it does not require any feedback diodes. Also, commutation circuit is complicated in case of voltage source inverter, but in case of current source inverter, commutation circuit is simple as it contains only capacitance. Last one, power BJT, power MOSFET, IGBT, GTO with a self-commutation property switches can be used in voltage source inverter. But they cannot be used in current source inverter as these devices have to withstand reverse voltage. Thank you.